This is a cold startup on a 2019 Dodge Charger GT. Hey, what is going on everybody? Ronnie's Reviews back with another video, another banger for you. So I'm on my way right now, heading over to the post office to send something to one of y'all actually so i've actually been wanting to do this earlier long 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 time ago you know months and months ago but never had anything to really give away never had anything to give to y'all never you know i didn't have anything but as you might have been watching you know my videos for a while i've gone through multiple pairs of you know lights and and accessories and such so i am going to be giving away my red footwell lights to one of y'all and if you know who you are then you'll be seeing this video they are coming to you they're on the way right now but you know i it's i want to do more giveaways in the future and obviously i will when i get more things to give away when i get more money and all this other stuff i want to do much more giveaways you know and you know even if it's just stuff that i go through let's say i do a mod and then i change it now i have a part let's say i change my exhaust now i have two super tents you know stuff like that you know i, I want to do more giveaways i want to do a lot more cool stuff for y'all and it'll come in due time but as of right now this is pretty much the most i can do i still do have a set of the cup holders like the cup holder kit where it's got the little dodge logo and the red outline i still do have a set of that if you want those comment down below i will be giving those away also so like i said heading over to the post office if you're new please go ahead and subscribe it is free 100 percent free does not cost you a dime all you gotta do is click a button that is it you can pause this video i will wait for you go ahead pause the video go smash that subscribe button it is free you're not doing nothing but helping my channel grow helping support me over 60 to 70 if not i believe actually it's like 80 percent of y'all that watch my videos are not subscribed just subscribe it's free it, it doesn't you know it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna do there's literally nothing negative about subscribing to my channel or say it's someone else's channel that you watch a bunch and you're not subscribed. Just sub. It's free. It doesn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't do no harm. Subscribe, please. Other than that, if you like this video at any moment, please let me know by dropping a like. Comment down below what you think about the mods I'm going to be talking about in this video. So, let's get into it. As you've seen by the title, you see by the thumbnail, five mods to make your V6 charger, whether it's a GT, SXT, doesn't really matter five mods to make your v6 charger or challenger as fast as a stock rt now you think how is that possible and these are going to be five cheap mods too like they're not going to be expensive they're not going to be crazy you're not going to be supercharging your car none of that five mods five simple mods that you can do to make your car your v6 as fast as an rt now the stock V6 is with SXT or GT. SXT from the factory comes with 292 horsepower, about 240, 250 torque. Uh, the GT comes with 300 from the stock horsepower, same torque, like 250. Uh, I don't know the exact number, it might be 260. Now the 5.7 Hemi, which is just the RT, comes from stock, I think it's 370 horsepower. I want to say it's about 370, might be a little bit less, but it's about 370 around that area. If, if you know the number, comment down below so people can see the actual number. I'll probably actually edit in the number right here. So you see the number, 300 something horsepower. That's not a bunch more than the V6. And you know, of course, with a RT and a V6, there's going to be completely different sounds. V8 obviously is going to sound much better but that's not what we're talking about today 
if you want to see how to make your V6 sound really, really good and sound as pretty much as close as you can get to a V8, I will post the link in the description below. Go watch that video, how to make your V6 sound like a V8. Y'all are showing a bunch of love on that video. It's almost at 50,000 views, I believe. Almost a thousand likes. Smash that like button. Go like that video. Come back, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. But five mods, five simple mods. They're not super expensive, but they're not cheap either. Some are cheap, some are kind of, you know, 300, 400 bucks. The most you probably spend is like 400 bucks. So five mods to make your V6 as fast as a stock RT. First, cold air intake. Now, a lot of people do the cold air intake as one of the first mods because it's smart. It's relatively cheap. On the upper end, you're gonna spend $300, $350. On the lower end, $200, maybe a little bit less. But anything less than that, you're probably gonna be cheated out of a cheap cold air intake. So what that does, obviously, improves airflow by a ton. If you don't know, the stock box for the V6 and the entire tube and everything, it's terrible. You have a small hole on the bottom that it brings the air up from under the car, only from the bottom, not from through the front, not the top, nothing. Only from the bottom, it's a hole probably about that big maybe. All the air's gotta come through there, then it squeezes through the tight box, and then it goes straight up, the filter is flat, and then it goes straight back. And then from there, you only have like something like this for the air to go through. The air intake greatly adds, not only does it add power, It'll probably add 15 horsepower or so, but you'll notice a difference. It'll add throttle response. It'll add better gas mileage. It'll just be better for your engine in general. So first thing I would say to do is cold air intake. Now, which one should you go with? k and is a very popular brand. Another one that is pretty popular, but um, on the more expensive end is the GT Momentum air intake because that one is a enclosed box. Now with that Momentum GT cold air intake, there's a second thing you can do to that. And I'm not entirely sure if the K&N comes with the same thing. If it does, please feel free to correct me. But with the Momentum Cold Air Intake, it comes with the box. Obviously has the air intake from the bottom. It also has a front mount, so you can have the air coming from the front. Now in order to do that, we'll kind of go into the second mod to do to make your stock GT V6, SXT, whatever it is, as fast as an RT. That is gonna be the Hellcat Airbox. Now that can kind of also be part of the first mod, which is called our intake, but you know, just for you know purposes, whatever, I'll just say it's the second mod. So first quarter intake. Now, a thing that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all these at once because I'm gonna be removing the front bumper to install the Hellcat airbox for it. So I'm gonna do all these at once. Yes, they will be separate videos, but I'm gonna do it all at once. So you gotta take off your front bumper for that. And what that does is on the left side, probably pretty much right in front of you where you drive, there's nothing for as far as the stock GT V6 goes. What the Hellcat airbox does is it's a little tube that connects from that cold, from that closed cold air intake box and it snakes through to the front to where it lets air come straight through to there and it'll add probably 20% more airflow since you're not since you're getting from the front and from the bottom. So that alone will add more horsepower. The Hellcat air intake, you know, the, the Hellcat air box, I believe is around 120, 130, so it's not that expensive and it'll greatly, greatly change how much air your car gets and you will really you'll really see a difference from that because as you're driving that wind is pushing into your car and there's no nothing to feed it to the air intake it's just hitting the front of your car and it's literally not doing anything with that hellcat air box all that air is going straight into that box giving you much more power much more air going into your your air intake and everything so that second mod i will say hellcat air box now you don't necessarily have to do that but I would really, really recommend doing that. For the third thing, exhaust. Obviously, you know, you wanna do an exhaust if you have a V6, cause it'll make it sound better, but it does actually increase airflow as well. So it will add a little bit of power. It's not gonna be a huge jump, but it'll add power. It'll add 
daughter's response, it'll sound better. Pretty much the biggest thing with this is just freeing up the airflow though. Now, if you wanna get even more extreme with the exhaust, remove the cats. I plan on doing that pretty soon, so you will wanna stay tuned for that. It's controversial whether, you know, people should do it. People say it doesn't work, doesn't help. Uh, it'll help. Yes, the cats from the factory for Dodge are pretty good with airflow, but it still blocks. It's, it's about that much of, of blockage from the airflow. So I'll definitely say remove the cats if you can do so. You don't have to. If you don't like the sound of it, don't. But if you just want to get that extra, extra, you know, free flowing air, remove the cats. Uh, that's the third thing. Now, before we continue with the list, I'm gonna go ahead and run in here to the post office, mail off those lights for y'all. Mail off those lights for, for you know who, and then we'll continue with the video. So get back to you in a minute. All right, so here those are. They are not brand new. Obviously I have used them. They were the first lights that I got. So they're not gonna be brand new but they still work and they still will be great for the person that is getting them. They work fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Make sure you got them all. One, two, three, four. That is everything to it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and ship these off real quick. All right, we are back in. And before we continue with the list, let's get a quick little, quick little pull. controversial you know some people don't like the sound some people do some people don't think it adds performance some people do it just depends and like I said before I'm all about trying to do stuff to my car that most people won't do or are afraid to do and that way you see what happens when I do it first or what it looks like or what it sounds like when I do it first let let me be your crash test dummy you know let me do the mods first watch what I do don't do what I do if I do it wrong. Some stuff I don't always do it correctly, you know. I'm a first timer with everything for, for all this modding and all that stuff. So let me be your guide to modding your V6 Charger Challenger, whatever it might be. If you're on the edge about something, you know, I've probably done it. I've done a lot of stuff to this car. If you haven't already, go subscribe and look through all my videos. I've done a lot of stuff to this car. If you're on the fence about doing something, Maybe I've done it, and maybe you, you can see if you know if it looks good, what it looks like, if it looks bad, you know if it sounds good, if it, you know all of that. Go ahead, just subscribe. Like I said, I've been saying in all my videos, it is free. If you are subscribed, thank you for your continued support. Y'all have been y'all have been going crazy on on the videos. You know, I think my most recent one already has you know close to five thousand views or something like that. Like y'all been going nuts for me. So just subscribe. It's free. Now, we're gonna jump back into the video. So, for the fourth mod, let's go, let's recap, all right? So first, first thing I'd say to do would be the cold air intake. Adds airflow, improves sound, it improves throttle response. It does a lot of stuff for your car that you might not always notice, but it's definitely a lot better for your car than having the stock air box and cold air intake on there. Second, Hellcat air box. That will greatly increase the airflow, performance, all of that. More than I think the cold air intake by itself would. So you definitely need both of them though, because that the stock air box and the stock filter and air, air intake is terrible. So cold air intake, Hellcat air box, third exhaust. It doesn't add a bunch of performance, but it does free up some airflow. And if you want to go gusto, go ahead and do the cat delete. Like I said, there's, there's really no negative. Only negative would be is if you really hate the sound, then I'd say, yeah, maybe keep it on. But there's really not a negative to it. Now, the fourth thing 
might be one of the biggest things that you can do to your V6 to make it as fast or as quick off the line as a RT. That's gonna be the pedal box. Formerly known as the Pedal Commander, that was the original one. But people have been saying there's a lot of problems with those and they don't always act right. I don't, I, I don't have one. I don't know what the problems are. I don't know what it is. But recently a lot of people have been getting the pedal box. And it's this little, little remote, about that big. And what that does is it greatly increases your throttle response. Now if, obviously your car has sport mode, pretty much all charger challenges do, you can tell right away, just by pressing sport mode, how much the throttle response is. So let's say I'm in eighth gear right now, I press the gas a little bit, nothing. Put it in the sport, drops down, I press it again, and it upshifts and everything. So just that alone, putting in the sport greatly, greatly changes the throttle response, especially from a standstill. You're in normal mode, you know, you're not in sport, whatever, hit the gas, it takes a second to get going, put it in sport, you're, you're, you're already, you know, getting thrown back in, you're just barely tapping the gas, you know what I mean? So, it already does so much for throttle response. Now, the pedal box takes that to a whole nother level of throttle response. You can tap the gas, so there's, if you haven't seen it, there's plenty of reviews and everything. I might get one later, might not, I am not sure. But, if y'all want me to, come down below, and I probably will. So, there's three modes, and then to each mode, there's three extra modes. If I'm not mistaken, if I get this wrong, do not come at me. I don't know. I'm not 100%. But from what I know, there's like normal mode, and um, it's it still is more throttle response. It's basically like probably like the sport as it how it is now. And then there's like normal normal mode one, two, and three, I think. And then it goes sport. And then either Sport Plus or Sport 2. I think it's Sport and then Sport 1, 2, and 3. And then Sport Plus and Sport Plus 1, 2, and 3. I think. Not entirely sure. Either way, that, that doesn't matter. That is probably one of the more important mods if you want your V6 to be as quick as a RT. And it's purely just going to be off of throttle response. And that's really all you need to make your V6 as fast as RT is throttle response. And you know, it's not gonna be as fast down the line because obviously the RT has a higher top end. But overall, especially like, you know, from the jump, that will greatly add a difference in the throttle response and you will keep up with an RT. And then eventually he'll pull away because like I said, the VA and higher top end and all that nonsense. So if you don't know from stock, the V6 Chargers Challengers are supposed to be around 6.4, 6.50, 6.60. I did post a video most recently, but for some reason my my stuff was acting up. I got like a 7 second 060, which is awful. So don't watch my video. Obviously, go go watch it. Try to comment down below what I did wrong or, or what, what might have you know, went wrong. I've, I've looked through every option. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad day. I don't know. I know there's a few runs that didn't have sport mode on. I know that helps. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's still, even with sport mode, launch control, all that, still got like seven seconds. So go watch it, but don't watch it. You know what I mean? So from stock, about 6.4 seconds, 0 to 60. Some people try to say, or they say that they get like 5.8 with no, just completely stock, no pedal box or anything. Uh, one video I've watched, this guy got like 5.8 with the pedal box, so I'm pretty sure there's, you can't get less than, much less than six without a pedal box. Now the RT from stock says it gets about 5.4, 5, 5, 5, 0 to 60 from stock. So it's really not that far off, and that's just with the pedal box, getting that 5.8, 5.7, and then RT is the 5.4, you know, so it's really not that much of a difference just with the pedal box. Now throw in the exhaust, now throw in the quarter intake and the Hellcat air box. That already right there, it's your 0.3 difference right there. And you're already RT fast within four mods. Now for the fifth mod, there are a number, a number of things that you can do. There isn't really a set number of mods to do to your car. 
basically for the Charger Challenger. Like I've done a bunch of stuff to this car and I still plan on doing a whole lot of stuff to this car. So there's not a set number, obviously. I mean, sooner or later, you're gonna get to rare points, like what else can I do, because you've done everything else, but like there's not a set number to where, okay, I've done four or five mods, that's it, that's all I can do. No, there's a bunch you can do. So, I mean, you can make your V6 as fast as an RT, basically with four mods. And the most expensive one will probably be the cold air intake, depending on which one you get. You know, close to $300. Uh, an exhaust, if you go to a place and you just have them delete, you know, both your mid muffler and your rear muffler, and then put on a Flowmaster or whatever it is, that's gonna cost you around 300 usually, sometimes more. The pedal box is around 300. The, um, the Hellcat air box is around 120, 130. So they're not crazy expensive, but they're not cheap either. But they are definitely worth doing, especially if you want to add quickness, add sound, and throttle response, and everything. But do those four mods. Just do those four, and you will be able to keep up with an RT, especially off the line. Now, like I said, they will pull away in the long end because they just have a higher top end. But you gotta think, be smart. Pull away from them in the beginning and then cut out. And be like, all right, I already won, that's it. As soon as he starts pulling up, you know, coming past you, just stop. Like, all right, I already won, bro. Like, what are you talking about? And then just stop, you know? <laughs> no, don't do that. But like I said, with those four mods, you can basically be as fast as an RT. And like I was saying, there are five mods that I was trying to list, but there's just too many mods that you can do. For the fifth, I was gonna say, you can, I mean, you can, you can get creative with, with the fifth. I mean, if you have money and you wanna supercharge it or, or whatever, that can be the fifth mod. That'll for sure make your car faster than a than an RT, especially because of the weight difference. The big block V8 is gonna be a lot heavier than the V6, so weight is a big thing as well. You can reduce weight if you want to. You can take out your seats if you want to. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do it's, there's not really an answer. I will say, do those four though. Those four are probably the easiest to find and do, and the easiest and cheapest to make your car as fast or as quick or, or have the same response as a RT. Now the RT, of course, is still gonna be faster. I'm not saying RTs are slow. I'm not saying GT, V6s and SSTs are like super fast, none of that. I'm just saying, there are ways, even for the RT, there are ways that you can make your RT as fast as the Scat Pack. Same with the Scat Pack, there's ways you can make it as fast as the Hellcat. There's there's levels, or you can, there's non-stop levels to modding and, and everything that you can do to make your car as fast as the next level up without putting in the money, without having to go buy an RT, or without having to pay for insurance for a V8, or, or whatever it might be. There's countless numbers of things that you can do to any car that you have to make it faster or as fast as the next level up that you want. For Chargers and Challengers, usually it's the V6 is gonna be as fast as the V8. For RT, Scat Pack, it goes on. So, those are basically, I'll say, the four cheapest and easiest and quickest mods to do to make your V6 Charger Challenger as fast as an RT. They will pull away in the end. Don't get discouraged. There are ways to beat that, you know, by supercharging it or whatever, if you don't want them to pull away in the top end. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, they're super simple, not too expensive, and they're super easy to find. Go on Google, type in cold air intake for V6, type in pedal box, type in, you know, uh, Hellcat air box, type in exhaust whatever you want whatever you want to do it's super easy to find and they're they're all over the place people sell them places sell them for different prices it's non-stop there's there's endless possibilities don't get discouraged that you have v6 i am gonna be doing those mods very soon so you will want to stay tuned for that please smash that subscribe button like i've been saying all the time it is 100 percent free like I said, let me be the crash test dummy. Let me, I am doing the cold air and intake, obviously. I'm doing the Momentum GT probably with the closed box 
and the Hellcat airbox. I am gonna be removing my cats, probably gonna get a pedal box. I, at that time, that'll be all four mods that I've done. So let me do it first. You can see for yourself, I am going to try on a better day to get a better 060. That way I have a better baseline for whenever I do start doing that stuff. You will see a difference in time and you will see a difference in quickness and you'll see a difference in sound. I've got clips from when I first got my car, or I might not, because it was super quiet, but I got a clip from when I first just did like a mid muffler delete. Sounded like poop, I didn't like it at all. Got clips from my car now, when I first got the exhaust to now. I'm gonna have clips when I get the, when I get the cats taken off. I'm gonna have clips when I get the quarter intake. I've got everything that you will need to see for a V6, Charger Challenger, GT, SXT, whatever it is. Just subscribe, it is free. Other than that, if you agree with my list, obviously it's not a, you know, this is the list, you know, it's, it's my list. And people might have other lists, they might have other ways to make your car faster. If they do, go give them some love, show them some love, watch their videos. Like I said, this is just my list, but this list will make your V6 as fast as an RT, at least off of the line. Other than that, if you like this video, please do let me know by smashing that like button. Let's try and set a like goal for the first time ever. Let's try to get this video to at least 400 likes, three or 400 likes. I think I can do that. Three to 400 likes. Comment down below what you think about the list. If you have any questions about anything, if you have questions about my mods, if you have questions about future mods, you want me to do a future mod, any of that stuff, comment down below. I respond to everybody. Like I said again, subscribe. It's free, subscribe. Other than that, I'm Ronnie. This is Ronnie's Reviews, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.